In this video, I'm going to look at an introduction to ecosystems. I'm going to cover a few definitions just so we can get our heads around uh, what is an ecosystem and get the nomenclature right uh, so we're all on the same page for later on. Okay, so firstly, an ecosystem is a result of all of the interactions between the abiotic and the biotic factors. So between the non-living and the living factors in the environment or in an area. So the abiotic non-living factors uh, include the physical and chemical components of the ecosystem. Okay, so all the things that aren't alive in the ecosystem. And this is things like humidity, availability of water, availability of sunlight. Okay, it's not, oh, there's a building there, oh, there's a rock there. This is about the physical things. And then we have the biotic factors or the living factors. And this is all the living organisms and how they interact with each other. Uh, what is eating what, uh, what is competing with what, uh, as well as how many of those living things there are and where they're found. A biome is the name that we use to refer to a group of ecosystems with the same or similar abiotic factors. Okay, so an example of a biome would be the desert biome, uh, and the desert biome in the Australian desert, for example, the Simpson Desert, is going to have similar abiotic factors to the desert biome of the Sahara Desert. It may have very different biotic factors. You might find different plants, different animals, but the Physical conditions, so lack of water, sandy soil, all those sorts of things are going to be very, very similar. Okay, of the environments, we have two types of environments. The first one, terrestrial, just means land-based. Okay, terrestrial is land uh, and covers about a third of the earth. Some of the factors that uh, can affect things here is how much water there is and as well as the temperature. Uh, so some of the biomes that you'll find in a terrestrial environment are desert, as we've already talked about, uh, but also rainforest on the other end. So going from a very small amount of available water to a very large amount and the grassland would be somewhere in between. Aquatic environments that cover two-thirds of the world and fall into two categories between them, marine or freshwater. Marine means ocean, or so salty, and freshwater is fresh. And some of the important things here in the environment is the availability of dissolved oxygen as well as the amount of sunlight that's penetrating through the earth. And we'll look... Uh, correction through the water and we'll look in more detail in that in later videos. So some of the biomes that you might find in an aquatic environment include uh, estuaries, rivers, ponds, uh, open seas, so all different sorts of biomes. Uh, which is funny because we usually think of uh, the water as being the water, we've got fish in it, but there's very different uh, biomes depending on those uh, abiotic factors.